January the 20th, 1987, I was taken hostage in Beirut. I was held in captivity for 1,763 days, the first four years of which I spent in total solitary confinement. I returned to freedom on November the 18th, 1991. Nobody would deny that incarcerating an innocent person is wrong. Yet it is happening right now, and not only to humans, but also to the most voiceless victims of all. Across China and throughout other parts of the world, many animals are held captive for the sake of entertainment, for the circus industry. This mindless cruelty is inflicted on a variety of species, all of which are thinking, sentient beings who deserve to live as they were intended, free and in their natural habitats. Instead, many big cats who have an average lifespan of between 15 and 20 years are forced to live a life of misery, pain and fear. Some animal lovers are fooled into thinking that animals in circuses enjoy the attention that they find it fun, that they are safe, well-fed, even cared for by their trainers. Not so. Animals will not perform circus tricks naturally, so endure extensive and abusive training sessions to perfect the trick before performing to the crowds. The trainers do whatever it takes to break the animal's spirit and dignity. As well as being whipped and beaten, lions and tigers may have their teeth ripped out and are declawed, which causes chronic pain and potentially fatal infections and renders them harmless to the trainers that abuse them. Trainers that bask in glory as the crowd cheers how brave they are to be in control, whilst the animals, brutalized since birth, do all they can to avoid a further beating or confiscation of food. The people behind these circuses have little respect for the behavioural, ecological and conservation needs of these individuals and the species they represent. Making animals perform humiliating and dangerous tricks only demonstrates to the audience that the animals can be controlled by pain and fear. It doesn't educate the public or foster respect or empathy for animals and in my opinion, teaches the audience, often children, nothing more than the animal's size, shape and colour. Elephants are the largest land mammals and the most powerful. In the wild they can travel 80 kilometres each day and have an average lifespan of 70 years. They live three times longer in the wild than they do in captivity. So for the unlucky ones, it's a shortened and terrifying existence. People like to see big and exciting animals perform tricks, they say. But if the audience knew that the elephants did these tricks, because not doing them would result in them being jabbed with sharp metal hooks or an electric shock, would they still be impressed? To dominate elephants, the trainers start their regime on the calves. They pound away at them until eventually the elephants realize what is expected of them and their natural instincts are broken. And like with any form of torture, they either succumb or die. Black bears are sadly also a candidate for the circus. In the wild, they can live for 30 years. Known for their love of playtime, they like to joke and fool around. Doing so with their brothers and sisters in the wild is one thing. Being trussed up with cables through their snouts and forced into playing games that only humans understand is quite another. One can only imagine how confusing and traumatic being put into a boxing ring must be for a bear. With the loud and chaotic noise, flashing lights and strange outfits, yet day after day, not knowing why, 
This is what they have to endure. Watch how this young bear, a world away from where she should be, tries desperately to understand what the man is expecting of her. You can almost hear her thoughts. Watch her head fall in utter confusion and sadness. This brutal fear and intimidation will continue until she gets it right. Of course, these animals have no idea whatsoever why they're being subjected to this. How could they possibly understand? Like this poor bear, who is tied to a motorbike and sent over a tightrope. Or these bears, who are being beaten even though they are doing exactly what is expected of them. These innocent animals have an exhausting and utterly pointless existence, with little, if any, respite. And there's no limit as to what species are exploited. Basically, if you can imagine it, then you can be sure somewhere it'll be happening. No care or thought is given to their social or emotional needs. Their medical and dietary requirements are rarely considered. They are exploited, manipulated, and after the tricks are over, they are led back to their unbearable living quarters, locked away in cages until tomorrow, when the same thing will happen again. And that's it. That's all they have in their life. When I saw this haunting footage, I felt angry, because I can imagine how these animals feel and I know that their hope will be fading. Right now, this very minute, thousands of animals are being abused in this way, forced into the same humiliating and monotonous tricks, and then locked away in the dirt and the dark. Take a moment to think about how much you have done in the last couple of years, how many places you've been how many things you've experienced. These animals have been here for every single one of those days, those hours. Please help us end this cruel industry by demanding an end to the use of animals in entertainment and join the Animals Asia Foundation and support them in their worldwide campaign to end the exploitation of animals once and for all. Thank you very much.